us this morning for Pet Place is Moran from the Pocatello Animal Shelter, and she will be introducing us to Anna, who has been so wonderful so far this morning. Thank you both for joining us. Tell us a little bit about Anna. Anna is a 10-month-old quiche hound. Uh, they're more of a, like a companion breed from what I just found out. Uh, she is such a doll. She got left with us with some puppies. The puppies are old enough to be adopted out. Um, and I've had her ever, you know, ever since we got, she became ours. Uh, she is a doll. She gets along with my other dogs. She gets along with my cats. She doesn't mind my bird, you know. So she's just one of these that wants attention, loves attention, just loves to be there. So since you have a lot of animals at your house, it's you're pretty confident that she's okay with other animals. There's no problem with that. And even here, she's just been yeah, laying she's been around. Yeah, chilling out. She's not a big barker. I mean, she will bark if she hears somebody knock on the door or hears a strange noise, but she's not one to just sit there and bark, you know, which is really, really nice. Um, I had my grandkids over this weekend. The youngest is about a year and a half. Uh, she absolutely loved the kids. You know, she had a gay old time with the kids running around and playing with them and just checking. So definitely out. a family dog. Uh, definitely a family dog. She is really, <laughs> yeah, this is what she likes to do, just kind of chill and lay around. Which seems surprising for a 10-month-old dog. Aren't they still a little bit in the puppy stage? She is still a little bit in the puppy stage. She tries to get the other dogs to play, and they're, oh, most of them are quite a bit older than mm -hmm. her, so they're like, oh, okay, we'll play a little bit outside, you know, which is nice. They can, they, she goes outside. She's not 100% house trained. She's still working on that. Uh, She's made major progress in that. What, in that. What's the best way to combat that problem? Um, consistency. You know, it's made, getting them out, you know, three or four times a day, depending on the age of the dog. And I'm like, with her, we do that. We get her out quite often so that she can go outside and go to the bathroom. So someone who isn't going to be home very often, this probably wouldn't be no. the best the other, fit. The other option is crate training. Mm -hmm. um, if you're not home, um, now, like at my house, that would be kind of hard. I don't have enough room for all the crates that I would need. So, uh, but if you're just like one to two dogs, crate. We're, they're in the crate during the day when you're not home. Uh, that way they're not out making a mess. Um, when most dogs will not mm -hmm. poop or pee in, the, in their home, which is what their crate will be. And then when you get home, do your little diddle, you know, put your coat away or whatever, and then take the dogs outside. When they're outside, go to the bathroom, praise them. You know, say, good job, good job. You know, play with them for a few minutes outside. And once they get into this routine, um, that helps the house training. It helps if they have separation anxiety. It helps a lot of different things, just not house, house training. And then quickly, she also came with her, her, fur, her four pups. Mm -hmm. And how old are they and a little bit about that? Um, there's, there were four of them. Uh, they are about nine weeks old now. Uh, when I, as of Friday when I left for work, they were still there. But who knows, they could have got adopted this weekend. But there was two boys and two girls. Um, they were really sweet little puppies. They're typical little puppies. You've got to chew and play and, you know, get into everything. So, so you have a couple of options Yeah, there. you have a couple of options. Well, where can people go for more information on Anna and the rest of the dogs and cats at the shelter? Um, come up to the shelter. We're open Monday through Friday, 10 to 5. On Saturday, 10 to 3, give us a call, 234-6156, or check, pe check petfinder.com. Well, thank you both for joining us. It was such a pleasure <laughs> to meet.